Now to continuing coverage, the circle of life cut short. Local wildlife officials under fire tonight for killing off big cats who target the wrong prey. Yeah, but turns out, although it may be controversial, it's common practice. Nine of your sides, Maggie Vespa joins us in the newsroom with more. Maggie. Guy Stella here. It's killing the lions and saving the sheep. Elsewhere, this tactic is used to protect birds, livestock, and so on. But that doesn't mean everyone is on board. I think it's insane. Critics call it common sense. That is what mountain lions naturally do. Drop an animal like this into land crowded with these and... It's a little bit like feeding the lions. Wildlife officials don't disagree. The mortalities were not unexpected. In fact, Game and Fish told Not on Your Side months ago a conflict between big cats and the big horns would require big action. They call the process administrative removal. Still, when they released 31 sheep into the Santa Catalinas last month, they hoped the new kids on the block would be left alone. They were wrong. If there is not some effort to keep the predator population at bay, they simply won't survive. And that effort is nothing new nationwide. In Nevada, officials worked to balance the same primal pair. In Oregon, tactics took to the skies to protect one owl species from another. And in Michigan, the great wolf hunt is underway after farmers lost livestock. While many here are against the move, some sympathize. I hope they can make a balance, that they can live together. I can see the problem. It's really a tough decision, but it can't please everybody. And in the environmental community, reviews on these sorts of tactics are mixed nationally. And Game and Fish here tells us they plan to start providing weekly updates on this project. Live in the newsroom, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGON 9 on your side.